Side note, M-O-O-R-E. last thing. R R E. I gave up energy drinks. Yeah, I saw you. Like five hour energy out there. But I gave up energy drinks. That's, That's an, an energy, energy drink. drink. Oh. <laughs> You, you, you mean you gave up the recreation? You know, you I'm at the point in my life where I'm giving up stuff I didn't give up. Get your weekly dose of R and R. Side note: Before we begin. Shout out to Tony Baker's shirt. Sade is fine. God rest your soul. Sade what? is fine. Sade's alive, man. You talk? Did you? <laughs> He's very much alive. <laughs> so God rest her soul. Is. Very you much much alive. This is what happens, right this is what happens no, no. when y'all give him a mic. God rest her soul. God rest her soul. God so, 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 okay. not play like that. Gonzi takes his only new artist. He don't know about Sade, huh? Let's just need to make a shame. Why would you assume she was deceased? Sade is watching Judge Judy right now. She does, Sade, I do. And she like she's older now. What's she like? At least sixty. She probably sixty. She probably is sixty. And still fine. She she to, she's fine. my favorite musician ever. In life. Ever? Ever. Over Stevie Wonder? Over everybody. That's what ever. Don't means. bring up nobody else. How did that happen though? What? That you like Sade over everybody. It's just the That's music, an interesting man. artist to be your favorite. It's yeah. Just, is that I, what your mom used to play when you were uh when she was My playing? brother did actually. Oh really? Yeah, my oldest brother. What's your favorite huge. Sade song? Sweetest uh, Taboo. Kiss I ain't of Life. Talking to you, man. Kiss of Life. From her uh, love to love. Kiss of Life is a great song, man. Yeah, I like Sweetest Taboo. You've never heard it. You have you, you don't know nothing no, about Sade. I, 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 I swear, bro. Name a Sade song. If you end up at a Sade concert, hold on, hold on. Name Sade. Wait, wait. Sweetest Love. No, no, no. no. It's sweetest it's Love. Sweetest, sweetest Taboo. Taboo. No. Sweetest Name a Sade song. You don't know Kiss one. of Life. No. <laughs> Give, give me five Sade songs not right many now. Not people can name five Sade songs. A lot of people can name five Sade songs. Five. Five shot they saw yes. right, right here, right now. <laughs> Sweetest taboo. Okay. One. Kiss them live, two. Uh, what's the one that starts with a P? No, we're giving you no. No. We're giving you Perpendicular. nothing. Perpendicular. Starts with a P. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Starts with a P. You know what I'm talking about. Pleasure principle. Pleasure principle. That's Jenna Jackson. Well, Let me tell you. Uh, that is I'm going to tell you all right now. If he end up at a shot A concert, <laughs> you ain't going to shot A shot A. You ain't going to 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 <laughs> I'm going to Zay Zay school and stealing on bad luck. I bet you if you play Sade songs, her her top songs, I can sing along to them. No, oh, no, man. Oh, yeah. Good. Play, play, play some right Q now. First of all, let's Q not do that because Q we don't something. have copyright. I don't keep it's any copyright. copyright. Oh, yeah, let's let's let the video no, play. Play it up, play it up, play it up. Cue it up. See if he gonna sing and play a popular one too. I'm gonna play a popular one. Yeah. And okay. watch me sing along. You ain't gonna sing along nothing. And it better be a real one that was that people know. Yeah, it's gonna be a hit. I it's just don't be knowing it. the name, bro. I know Sade. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sweetest Ah, oh, he ain't gonna know the words to this. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> uh, this intro is five minutes long. Is it? Oh, no. yeah, the intro, she takes her time to get on the track. Don't be rushing her. Don't be trying to Google no lyrics. Because Sade is a band. She had the same Sade, she's cast. just a lead singer. Hey, look out, man. <laughs> Sade, I do. I don't need here you to Here we go. Here we go. You are my <laughs> I got it. No, I got it. You got nothing. I don't know nothing. Let it go to the chorus. You don't know nothing. No, you ain't got to go to the chorus. You said you knew the words. You said you knew the words. Give me some hook action. Give me some hook. 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 That was horrible. Give me a little piece of the hook. Let me get his beak wet on the hook. It's more of a vibe. Here we go. Okay. Shut up. Here we go. Here's the chorus right here. Okay. Get in on it. I'm in it. Ready? ready? It's no ordinary <laughs> love. No ordinary love. Oh, you got lucky. Right, I'm going to sing along side A, man. Oh, no, no, pull up another one. Pull up, one. Pull up another one. Pull up another one. Pull up another one. Pull up another one. I'm going to cue the last one up. Okay, pull up another one. I'm going to sing along side A fan. You going to cue it up too? Yeah, I'm going to cue the last one up. You pull up another one, Tony. I told you. We said five, right? That's three. He named two. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. All right, I'm going to give him another one. I named two, and I'm going to sing along with the rest. And it better be not on the B side of her 67 class. Why not? All right, I'm going to give you another hit. Give me one that most people would know. I'm going to give you something from that same album. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. 
hits. <laughs> I bet he don't know this one. Don't be picking hard ones, Tony. This ain't no hard one. This is a hit. He don't know nothing he about this. He don't know this. nothing about the this. Chorus. Just go straight to the chorus? Yeah. No, you got to get that beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the set off. And this video, the visual is iconic. Yeah, it's amazing. You ain't never seen the about video. The Here we go. He knows nothing. This is the verse. <laughs> People don't be knowing the verse. <laughs> yeah. Come on. This is the great verse. <laughs> he just said, yeah. <laughs> You know this part? <laughs> Come on. See you right now. Don't worry, this is about you, man. Go ahead. I don't think about me. Go to the hook, man. Give me coming. a little hook. Hold up, it's coming right now. Get out of here. And this has been sampled by cats. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know it. Don't she have? This guy's sampled by. Here we go. It's coming this right here. This ain't the chorus, yeah. It's coming right here. Right now, that's the. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. You gotta Where get in do? on it. Okay. Cherish the day. Cherish the day. <laughs> Won't go to the day. What's he saying? Nah. 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 Okay. Don't you guys know nothing? Nope. Last one. Uh, he didn't know that one. He didn't know that one. Cook it up, Here we go. Over two. 1984. It better be a hit. This is the debut album, man. Don't be picking hard ones, man. Nah, hits. Yes. You oh, if you don't know this, I'm a punch. This was the debut. I don't know if Doughboy know low key though. This smooth operator. <laughs> Sing along. Smooth Sing along. Operator. I already know the title. Sing along. He did smooth know the title. Smooth operator. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're All right. Smooth. Three out of two. Smooth operator. Two for three. I'm nah, a sing along. Nah, three out of five. Fan. You knew three out of five. I named two. Guess two. That's you four out of five. Guess. You did not guess. I named two. He I guessed two. the first he named one. Two. He did name two. And I, and right. I named that one before stumbled, she said anything. He stumbled into no ordinary love. Sing yes. along. Cheers to Dave. I can't take no more pressure from the blacks. Oh, whatever. I took enough for Anita Baker. Let's get it going. Are y'all ready? <laughs> ready. What up? This is your boy, Dope Boy. And Kev on stage. And we are joined by the homeboys. Tony Baker. And Dear Moore. Yeah. for another installment of Start It Off to the Right. Righteous and that's it. And it is a righteous Tuesday and Tony and here are here and we are gonna talk about this is and the tour is over and we are having fun and me and here are gonna barbecue on Labor Day. Alright. So that was lit. We asked <laughs> our Patreons actually were like, can y'all please do a recap? We want to know the truth about the tour. Yeah. Everything. Do not. So we did uh, let them ask questions. And if you want to join the Patreon, they're watching this right now mm -hmm. here on www.righteousandratchet.com. You oh, get yeah. a double episode a week. So Two you, episodes. Yeah, so you get double the righteous and double the ratchet for as low as five dollars a month. Low as five, you get eight episodes a month instead of the four. You get to see stuff early, mm -hmm. access, and you get to ask questions. Sometimes the broadcasts go long, and they get to hang out with us. All type of stuff. All type of stuff. So, and uh, righteous and ratchet will be going on the road. They get access to the tickets. Oh first. yeah, they had the tickets available before y'all did. By and the way, get, Philly get is halfway sold out. So is Nashville. Yeah. And New York okay. has sold like a crazy amount of tickets in one day. Yeah. And New York is a very small venue. It only seats one fifty. So don't wait. All right. Okay. So the first question, and this one is the one we got more than anything. Oh. Tawana Wyatt and 15 other people said, to hear what is the deal with the bag tags? Do people help you? <laughs> How do you get them? What is the deal? Because I know I don't know if y'all saw my story. Yes. Tahir had, he was on a tear. He on had Josh's bag tag from August. I'm sorry. We went to Augusta. Augusta. April 2018. What? what? What's the deal? Who are you? Um... When I commit to something, I commit to it. I just like to annoy them. And <laughs> bag tags is the easiest way to do it. It's something small. Like, I find the most minute thing, and I just capitalize it. Like, I like to hold people's elbows. Stop. And when you first start doing it, they'd be like. Toxic masculinity. They'd be like. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. This is, is not consensual. <laughs> <laughs> to hear so, fumbled, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Something as small as that, people are like, I ain't worried about that. And then literally 45 seconds into it, like, stop. He'll so, be, he'll, you'll be standing there, like, taking pictures with fans. And he'll just put his hand on the small of your back. And I'll be like, bro, <laughs> like, you don't notice it at first. It's kind of, one, time, one time on the tour, he was doing this to Doughboy, like to annoy him. And then it was like four minutes. We're like, oh, like we're taking pictures. You're like, yo, Doughboy. He's like, well, I knew from the beginning. <laughs> Keep going. It was just really comforting. It was, it was, it was soothing. soothing. As far as collecting them, I just, um, 
I just always grab them before they're looking. Uh-huh. They're, uh, while they're not looking, <laughs> uh, like it got to a point with Kev and Tony were trying to take them off first. Oh, and they we were throwing were them away. In the oh, man. They were just throwing them away. And I would just wait till they walk away and I get them out of the trash can and then I would just start folding them. He and then took I stopped like three doing months off. It. Yeah, I stopped doing it for like three months just to amass them. And at the end of the two, I was like, I'm going to get it. He was going ham. And yeah. That, and that's he put thing. him in Doughboy's panties. It was all over the place, man. <laughs> big old blue. Uh, no, those are the drawers that fell out. <laughs> those took so, a lot. It, that took a majority of the ones that I had saved up. So, and I got Tony in his pillowcase and everything. It was just, it was ridiculousness. Okay. Uh, can, can we can we please talk about the elephant in the room really quick? Can we talk about it really fast? What, we don't know what the elephant is. What was the desired result with this shirt? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this strong? It looks like a dress of, shirt. I'm tired of wearing. <laughs> what is it? It's I'm a pajama t- shirt. <laughs> Why are you wearing a pajama? Where are your bottoms at? What is a pajama? <laughs> I said it's a pajama what shirt. Is a pajama shirt. I said pajama. <laughs> I take no fashion criticism from Boy, you. What are you doing? You look like a mustard bottle <laughs> ready for Labor Day. Um, well, I'm just tired of wearing merch shirts. <laughs> no, you, you, you actually have great style. But what is uh, this? It's it's called wearing. To hear, would you wear this? I would you, never. You I would never wear that, that to sleep. You took that jacket out of a crumpled up piece it of the hamper. Look like a pajama top. Yeah. <laughs> look, no one was on stage with Echo sweatpants on last night. Though, so. on the cover of the birds. You look like Tom <laughs> Lamshanks. Nope. Nope. Come nope. on, Tony. <laughs> nope. You thought about it. All right, just, next question. Right, cool. <laughs> I'll be wearing new stuff all the time. You just don't have something to say. Man. Uh, Jara Zaire says, what are everyone's annoying habits that you notice from being on this tour? Oh. Tony oh, talks in his sleep. Still. <laughs> is that annoying? Yes, I know the habit though. Because it's like you don't like you think he's talking to you. you, you I don't you have will. control over That's it. That's not though, a habit guys. though. That is a habit. No. I feel like habit is something you do on oh, purpose. Oh, yeah, it's uncontrollable. Yeah, yeah like snoring is like to hear snores, but you can't control that. Right. Oh, so like what do people something you do, do on purpose? Um, I feel like is a habit. right? Yeah. Yes. Um, Tony don't go to sleep. That's an annoying habit. Tony right. it bothers me that Tony hates sleep crisscross applesauce on his bed while he's on his phone iPad and computer why all is, the same. Why is me sitting like that funny. bother you so much <laughs> sitting the way you sit doesn't bother me you're on the bed it's funny than when he does it on the me. floor sometimes he'll <laughs> just be like tucked by the window cause yeah, the sound in the corner. and he'll be like bro is everything alright and they'll be yeah. like oh miss <laughs> 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 I got bad knees so the fact that Tony can sit like that for a long time my I left knee I can sit like that I can cross my legs you know what I'm saying? Y'all just hating because I got. I mobility. just want you to get more rest. That's okay, annoying. You don't better. rest. You don't rest. He did better on this tour. Last we, tour, he was just. As we get older, we got to rest. Yeah, Doughboy wasn't older. resting during that weight loss challenge, though. Oh, I was. You can talk about no rest. What does Tony do that annoys you? Let's start Tony okay. and then go to Doughboy, then me, then to okay. here. Um, Tony didn't really annoy me too much. Yes. I just, I just don't like his face. That was the main thing. It's nothing you can do that. about it, but you, you know, know what you look like. I can't help that. Yeah, he can't help that. Um. Nah, the Tony. Habit. Tony was actually pretty chill. He can Tony be some, is the most easygoing he, person. He is, he's somewhat of a food Nazi, but I don't like that about no, him. No, no, I, I, I wholeheartedly disagree. No, for a person who's a vegetarian, Tony will go to almost any restaurant and just find something for him to eat. That's true. He'll eat rice and beans. He's eaten oatmeal a million times. Like I'm you, talking about more so when judging you. Yeah, he makes judging you feel guilty oh, for yeah, the food that you eat. That's but only, that's in his only defense, be- in his defense, he only, nope, that's not his defense. Yeah, He, nope. he went hard defense. on Doba because Doba was trying to eat right, but even when you, the last tour, when you weren't even trying to eat right, well, then again, Tahir was eating pulled pork at 2 a.m. I feel like we all have to get that early. You Everybody shut up. was judging. Okay, you just shut up. I don't want to. That was on principle. I didn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> you could have waited till later. Yeah, wait, no, you, I couldn't fly. No, it. you be doing that. Remember, Josh? Remember when he had that? When he bought them three uh, chicken Caesar salads from Costco? Oh, he stacked you up had, like, that Costco. salad for like in three different cities. I was like, throw that warm salad away. It wasn't warm. I was putting them in my. It, it I mean, made sense. In I would have ate them all too. Yeah, that's another like thing waste, about Tony. Tony don't, don't like waste, waste food, food at all. I don't, I don't like waste of food. food. He don't waste food at all. Tony gotta, ate on our last show day. Him and Josh ordered some smoothies that was straight tree bark and mulch. They were and trash. Tony oh. drank it all, and it was disgusting it because was he just won't waste serious food. business in those yeah. movies. All right, what's annoying about Doughboy? Oh, that's, not, that's, 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 that's tough. That's real tough. Oh, oh, oh I'll tell you my thing. Or get, let I, Tony go. I got an assortment of things, man. Assortment? Yes, man. What do you mean? You talk on the phone too much in the hotel. <laughs> you you demand that the curtains are closed the whole time. I hate natural light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you always making proclamations. Then when we hold you accountable for those proclamations, uh, you get mad and sensitive about love it. Love me we, for me. 
Man. <laughs> 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 he, he, always, he always wants to eat all the time, every hour and a I half. I really just be wanting to talk to y'all in a public and setting. We're on like, tour. We're always weight. around each other. He'd be yeah. like, I want to lose weight. Let me get the chicken wings. You know what I'm <laughs> I, really, I really just want to lose weight, guys. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make changes in my life. Let me get the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really just want to slim down, guys. Let me get the soda. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> ah. That's pretty much all mine. Mine Man. is this. Oh. This is this is the one that rules them all. Doughboy asks questions that he himself can get the answer to. Yes. <laughs> They're all the either time. in the chat. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have an app called Master Tour that has the hotel, the flight, everything. The the, the venue, who's rooming yes. with each other. Everything you need is in there. Mm -hmm. If it's not in there, it's Googleable. Mm -hmm. Josh said, Hey, we're going to this restaurant called Ziggy's in Amsterdam. Oh. Most people will say, okay, <laughs> let me put Ziggy's in on my phone. In Amsterdam, it's highly unlikely to be the wrong one. Doughboy, what's the address for that? <laughs> I sent a drop pin. <laughs> say, Matter hey, of fact, you had already here. sent the drop pin. <laughs> I just made All you gotta do is click it. I don't even know what that comes from. Laziness. Laziness. Somebody yeah. wanting Laziness. you to do stuff because you don't want to work. Ever. You want but I'm not lazy. To. And Doughboy don't straighten the, the tile out on the bathroom oh, floor. It looks like a crime scene in there. Was it, was it my turn? Was your turn was over. It looks like a crime scene in the bathroom. Bro, wait, what? Oh, 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 I mean, I mean, get on the ceiling. I mean, oh, don't understand. Oh. What did that mean? He doesn't straighten the towel. You know, like the towel you step on when you get out the shower? Yeah. It'd be just all mangled up and it looks water everywhere. It'd still be wet everywhere. Put it up and fold it back over the tub so it can dry out or nothing. He just leaves it. It's a crime scene. <laughs> I just see Tony going to the bathroom like You remember the scene <laughs> Remember the scene in Casino Royale when Daniel Craig was first James Bond and they show his first murder in that bathroom where he fought the guy. That's what it looked like no boy And there's water everywhere on the ceiling. I imagine him getting out and just shaking around like a dog. Man. This water just going everywhere. And he man. Kiss the towel and leaves. Hard right to hear you're up for double. Okay. Uh let's go. Oh shoot. First off, uh, really wild to hear. Uh, we got the paperwork. I'll try to. I'll try to consolidate it. Yeah, try, try, try and keep it light. Okay, um, <laughs> the bathroom situation um, is 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 just horrible. The phone conversation. He will. Doughboy will ask you if you're watching something. You'll say yes, and he'll still change it. Um, or you'll be watching something, and he will be like, "All right, cool, cool, cool," and then get on the telephone. Uh, full conversation, not like, hey, everything cool, cool, cool. It's just like, yeah, so, you know, tonight's show was cool, you know. I don't know. I just kind of, I feel like I'm, I'm at this point in my yeah, life. I feel Anytime like I'm at this point in my life. This one is oh, worse man. and most common. I don't know. I just feel like I'm at a point in my life right now where I just realized <laughs> I have to do me. But I'm at a point in my life where I'm at that point. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this next page. Every combo. Um, his his dress was just just it's just a whole page of dress. I have dates of different outfits that I just did not agree with. I hated everything about it. Uh, I don't think he wore sweats. I don't think he washed those sweats Don't, once. He wore don't sweats boy wants the room to be a cave. It is moist and dark and damp. He wants the temperature at a at a brisk 47 degrees all the time. Moist it's, is the worst word it ever. It is, because he's a mouth breather, <laughs> so he keeps the room moist. <laughs> and it's just like, I, I, it's just, it was horrible rooming with him. Um, <laughs> he's always hungry. Like, always. before a show, during a show, after oh, a show, when we get back to the room, he goes down to the lobby, he comes back with $75 worth of snacks, <laughs> and you're trying to sneak, <laughs> and then he just, he just starts snagging, like, open the... Bags like this, like lights <laughs> off. But there's no quiet way to open chips when people <laughs> are sleeping. Chips, well, he chips like <laughs> gummy worms. <laughs> and then when he does a soda, it's not like he doesn't like, like you know, if you if somebody sleep in the room, you got a sober, you you quiet What's a sober? gracefully. What's a sober? What's a sober? Man. I said sober. Can you stop quiet from it. You, you quiet it. You want he will over shh, and then uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he look at his drink when he drinks? <laughs> I'm thirsty. I drink my drink. Here's I'm been waiting for this day for years. Years. It's 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 on the phone. Phone. And then, and that's, that's just that. When you're asleep, if no oh. boy has somewhere to go, he will just get dressed loudly like it's 12 p.m. noon. He don't care that you sleep. <laughs> he will get dressed with the flashlight on. And he, he's considered he won't turn the light on, but he'll get the flashlight on pointed in your direction. <laughs> Literally pointed in your direction. Bounce the light off of you? Yeah. Speaking of sleep, 
Sleep's mm. really important. We it spend is. a lot of time on our mattress. Uh huh. And you're struggling to get a good night's sleep. You got to try a purple mattress. Got it. Tone, you should get one. It might help you go to sleep without having to watch it on your phone. I used to wake up feeling so stiff and just, ah. Uh, yeah. And now I've got a purple mattress. It's actually the thing I dreamt most about. Talking to your mic. Being, about a, being on tour, you don't have great sleep. You right. know, you're in a different bed every time. The, the pillows are different. You can't get your feel. But the purple mattress, ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> feels great. Purple mattress will probably feel different than anything you've ever experienced because it uses brand new material that was developed by an actual rocket scientist. It's not like the memory phone we are used to. Purple material is amazing because it's both firm and soft, much like Doughboy. It keeps your back and neck support while Ugh. still feeling real comfortable. Plus, it's breathable so you're not hot when you sleep. Gives you zero gravity feel so it works for any sleeping position. Right now, Purple is offering a 100-night risk-free trial. So if you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. It's also backed by a 10-year warranty. Purple has free shipping and returns, free in-home setup, and old mattress removal. You're going to love Purple. You hear me? And right now, our listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress that's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text RR. RR. To 84888. Oh, the only way to get this free pillow is to text oh, RR, RR, RR to 84888. That's RR, RR, RR to 84888. RR. Message and data rates like may seal. Uh, no I'm so disrespecting that. RR, 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 only when he's tired. Or hungry. Yeah. Or he, tired. Oh, he's tired. If he's tired and hungry, man, that dude. The moody ones are Tahir and Kev. I For real, moody. you be moody. Tahir, I would say, moody. is more moody than Kev. I'll take but, moody. But Kev is more self-aware, so he'll notice him and be like, all right, y'all. I'm a yeah, he'll, he'll yeah. fight through it. Like, yeah. Sorry, he'll snap out yeah. of it. But Tahir be. How many times were I moody? You were moody. Nah, it was the example it thing. Yeah, Kev, the example it's thing. It's got to be extenuating circumstances. Don't give that example. <laughs> there was one time that that rule set off. Uh, right. I, I, I like I like examples, so you know. I I, I admit, yeah. when I be honedy and tired, I just I be, but I be quiet. I don't be like Argh. I know. But then it's like you get irritated. Like so, it's like if I do something and it's regular and you're not like that, it's like ah, oh, you crazy. But then if you irritate, there's a certain like, amount of. Uh, Ability you're to very do irritating, I though. I'm not irritating. <laughs> you are. Yes, Remember right. the time in Amsterdam when you kept the song playing for oh, that long? Oh, Kev oh turned around and went off. He was like, enough, enough, we get it. He started humming the song. It was just looping. <laughs> yeah, it kept going. <laughs> we were trying to it catch that flight too. at four in the morning. Doughboy had the music on a thousand, oh, bro. Oh, my God. A thousand. <laughs> he was like, let's play some J.I.D. and turn it up. Dude, it was, it's like, bro. Melissa cannot, was in the back seat like, oh, that's another Another thing about Doughboy, boy, he always has to get in the front seat and then he hops in and he meets Because I'm, I'm the tallest no person help. on the tour. You're not the tallest. Not the tallest. Tony person. is the tallest person. No I'm help. the biggest. No help with the luggage. No nothing. I help. He gets no. his bag help in and he goes and sits about his butt down in the front seat. Tell every Kevin time. what you don't like about him. No, uh, but, but Kev, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kev be on his phone too much. But you're on your phone now. Kev, the question. Kev never wants to do stuff. He don't. He wants to do what yes. he wants to do with his yes. family and yeah. anything else beyond that. I can't even argue with that. Mm -hmm. After the show, ain't no after party. <laughs> I want to <laughs> take my socks off. <laughs> I want to watch Seinfeld and I want to be done. Kim You're lucky we didn't have 945. Oh, if we had room service hotels the whole time, I wouldn't even look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't afford to do it the whole time. But boy, when I be on my own. And that's the thing I realized about myself, Tone. It's all them years of being on the road by myself. Mm -hmm. I had a whole routine. I go to the room, order room service, wiggle my toesies. That's it. Turn on Netflix. Like, <laughs> call them toes. This is all when you by yourself. Oh, yeah, 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 wiggle my toes. You know how excited I am to wiggle my toes? I Just can't don't call wait. them toesies. The yeah. toe wiggle. <laughs> all right, what's annoying about to hear? I didn't get to go. Um, oh, go ahead. My bad. Yeah. Uh, Kev took me on tour, so I never say a bad thing. Oh, God. That's why it stays huh? working. Playing yeah. it safe, huh? Yep, absolutely. So, so here, be burning incense in the bathroom. I like that. Yes. I like I think that's most necessary. people like that. beneficial. That's actually fairly considerate for the you. The fact absolutely. that that annoys you lets people know how irritating and inconsiderate right. you are. You just, you just irritated that's the people That's just good watching. hygiene. That's taking consideration of the person that has to come in the bathroom after me. 
That's you're horrible. horrible. You're horrible in the individual. You know what's funny about that? Greg was like, "Hey man, to hear be like intense, man. That's that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then people are like, "Yo, because it's a, if it's a green room bathroom and somebody has to do you know file some paperwork. Hey, to hear man, you got to." Yep. Incense in the wipes. Doughboy does not know what to do with the incense. I gave him an incense <laughs> to oh use the bathroom. Oh, my God. We're in the hotel now. He oh, used the person to talk about you. you. Doughboy, we keep coming back to Doughboy. Let's come back to talk about you. The whole incense wasn't even used. Not even a fourth of it. He throws the whole thing away. So when he I comes out the bathroom, that. I'm like, where's my incense at? He was like... <laughs> I threw it away. I'm like, why would you throw it away? I, I didn't know what to that. do with it. You put it out <laughs> and you give it back to the person that graciously gave it to you. Those are hand rolls. I, I know what Indian. bothers me about to hear. I, I he shops too much. Too. No, to hear always got to do his own thing. Oh, to hear yeah. always got to meet a sister, a cousin. Always. How many siblings do you have? You got for family in every city. Me and my friend from Harriet Beecher Stowe Elementary College are linking up. <laughs> always. I'm not, I'm not riding back with y'all. I'm driving over to Raleigh by myself. I'm going to fly in a day. Early but then he'll leave glad. and then he'll man. show back up where we're at inexplicably. Just flying and Weird. driving, man. Join the team. Hey. I already ate by myself. I had a uh, six Caesar salad. Right. Oh, y'all was gonna be doing the tour. Where I always had to do things like that. And this. he's inconsiderate. Remember, he'll go to the uh, to the restaurant. He ordered his own food and didn't wait nah, for nobody else to nah, order. Nah, nah. That's just You're one example of him doing his own thing and being inconsiderate. Man, I was, yeah. agree with my my to your complaint is he's a he's a worry 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 oh, a worry. Man. worry. Yeah, he always Cleveland worried tone? about something. Man. Remember Southwest? Remember Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah. He is always <laughs> worried about oh, something. Remember they're gonna get to check our bags in on time. We only have an hour well if we weren't able to check our bags on time then what would we do so what time we gotta get there? I don't know if we gonna have enough time to do this this and this just chill dog we should leave probably three four hours early so we get to the airline but when they don't take my advice we're pushing it like like the last time when me and Josh said we should we should have left. No, but y'all didn't say that. Y'all it said matter. it to each other. Because because when I say it, this is what I get. This is what I get when I try to warn them about timeliness and professionalism. This is what I try to do. <laughs> and then I get chastised <laughs> and called an auntie right. for it. This, this is why I don't do no. And this is so another hey, reason why I hang by you myself. Auntie because auntie because I mean, you hold on, let me You be having a man purse. <laughs> Listen. That's what I was gonna say. I hate your tote. <laughs> you be <laughs> I hang by myself because I'm a loner. And when I don't ever want to get too much people. Hold on, Tom. Hold on. I'm a loner. Listen, you're baloney. No. <laughs> you always want to be a around. Loner. Don't boy cannot be by himself. Oh, Don't boy is definitely Don't boy can't be by himself and you. he can't be quiet. If the room is too quiet, don't boy be like, you know what I was thinking, guys? Ketchup isn't really like that good. I'm like, don't what? Don't boy can not handle one silence in the world. being alone. <laughs> But I really can't. I don't, I don't give people too much of me anytime. I will always remove myself from a situation before I let somebody get tired of me. And that's kind of what I do all the time. So it's not just a tour. I always just dip on my own. And it's just who I am. So All right. Well, it's annoying. Man, so, ba- so basically, I had the best track record. What? Yeah, no, Tony's the most easy going on mm-hmm. the tour. Tony was like, I remember the first tour, I was like, Tone, before we had brought, I brought to here on, I was like, Tone, you what are you you okay performing here? Because we, we had some interesting places the first tour. Movie, <laughs> movie, uh, theater, high school. Tone was like, after three or four, he was like, Kevin, if there is a microphone and people, I'll perform. What about hotel? He's like, if it's my own bed, the only thing I don't want to do is share a bed. I'm like, okay, well, that's obvious. Like, bro, he don't remember Tony, like, man, this is a nice hotel. Yeah, man. I used to stay at the Calico Cat. Last year, we were three to the room. Not the tour. I was just happy to be here. My thing is, pay me what you said, we good. That's yeah. all tone. Pay me what you said, when you said, and that's, we good. That's one of the most respectable things about Kev, man. Oh, man. You send. Yo, your payment request, you get in the back within five, ten minutes. Yep. Always on you my phone. You never have to huh? wait I'm for always payment. On my phone. Yep. You and never have to worry pro- about getting paid. Well, you, a lot of promoters can take a lot of lessons from that because, yes. man. If you request it while I'm awake, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's right away. That's the comic in me. I, there's nothing more I hate oh. than people not having your money ready. Bro, oh. I, I did my. I remember one time I had a show, I'll never forget. I had a show and it, they, they didn't promote well, whatever. Mm. I did my part. They was in the back. They had like, they owe me like 600 or something like that. You talking about not crazy. They had like $178 laid out. <laughs> and, some w- and some wings. In, in different <laughs> denominations. <laughs> and they were just like, ah, you know what we didn't, didn't, didn't do as good as we thought. Oh, come on, I man. might have to go to the ATM. I'm going to have to wait ATM. for an hour, oh. an hour and a half. Bro, give me my money. Yeah, I hate it when they do that too and they be like, well, you see it ain't that big of a turn. That's not my concern. Not Pay my me I don't go say. up before I know that I'm getting paid that night. That's when I switch my that's, thing that's, to that. I started asking promoters who booked me for shows and I, because I, you sometimes you get that, you see the crowd ain't looking like it's supposed to be and I'm like, was my payment determined 
on mm. the crowd size. They'd be like, yeah, we were hoping a little bit more. All right, well, let me help you out. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Yeah, I, yeah. Now, I, mean, I don't I even get dip. on the plane if not you ain't doing me. I'm, yeah. not even a, I'm not even going. I don't yeah. even, you can't even risk that. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, Angela Outlaw Wilson, what would you change, if anything, about touring? We'll start with you. Start. Um, only thing I would change is uh, maybe separate rooms. We room up sometimes, but that's in an effort to save money. But that would be the only thing that I would change. But honestly, like, aside of, from Doughboy, nobody else was really a problem to, like, sure. room with. <laughs> it was actually cool sharing rooms with Josh and, and, and Tom because we got to connect on ways. Doughboy showed me things about food that I didn't know that you could do with other foods. So sure. that was cool. But, I mean, you know, that was it. It was really no other problems than that. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> I just want to point out that Kevin never stayed with Doughboy not once, so he doesn't know anything. Oh, and he and he never will. Yeah, which is what we went through. I mean, I'm not knocking that at all. Uh, right to some ratchet tour, we no, doubling up. Absolutely not. Kev was like, Kev was uh, like the general in like wartime that's always back there in the tents. <laughs> nah, man, we gotta, say, we gotta yeah, say money Josh, is our first tour. We want the front we lines out no, there. Come on, man. Not the point at all. Nah, we, man. We would literally look at the tour with the common folk, and we would be like, "All right, I'll take him on this day and this day. Josh, you get him on this day, and then Tony." Bring it up the and ring. we mapped it out by the longer, the but longer. Yeah, yeah, whoever had the longest day. So hilarious. To me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just take these lashes. Okay, <laughs> we all the all title questions. It's it keeps coming back to I'm the first roommate. roommate. Keeps coming okay. back to them. Okay. Uh, one thing I would change. <laughs> I think I would rather have like pristine venues all the time. Oh, I man. feel like the worst is going from like the best is like a church that really yeah. loves you and is happy to be there and they have volunteers and they're just happy to be there right to like a club that's falling apart mm -hmm. or like at high school and you just go from like great green rooms with drinks and right. and meals and smiling faces and comfortable couches to like man one of the green rooms in the club was like the plates that the people had to come here to get, get more plates oh, can you give me 12 of those joints like at the time man. it was like in the back of the mall it was just like man it so was horrible in there having consistent great venues would be like man I would actually pay a little bit more um, in theory possibly but more than likely I wouldn't <laughs> to have uh, the Very quality possibly. venues because the the and it's sometimes from Friday to Saturday it's just a totally different thing so yes um, the one thing I would change I, and I know for budget reasons too it made the most sense but um if we could have spent more time in the cities that we were in yeah like, cause like sometimes we would literally be landing going to the hotel mm -hmm. be there for 20 minutes get ready go to the venue and that oh, can yeah. be a little jarring like you know what I'm saying oh, so yeah. that would be the only thing that I would say just a little bit more relaxation time in the that's city. mine too like a flight a day is a lot yeah and you was like it was better this tour than last year last year it was pure flight every day so unadulterated like, oh we was just like uh, we drove a lot last year too though but nah, yeah. the routing was better this year what I like about yeah, last year though like Minnesota when's our next show last Portland, year I was Portland. Yeah. we're going back <laughs> well, I remember for real no lie I was adding dates we did we did <laughs> Detroit Oh, uh, <laughs> in another city next to Detroit, and then we went to Richmond, Virginia yeah. on a Sunday, and I was just like, ha, ha. I remember thinking Kev, <laughs> Kev didn't know geography. I was like, Kev must have failed social man. studies. He did not know. I was, I totally, These cities are nowhere near each other. Man, I, I messed up a lot. <laughs> and I like the last tour. I feel like we all fit in one vehicle. Yeah. yeah we the Bonnie last year. I, I didn't like the two separate cohesive. vehicles. Yeah. I didn't like that. We had Doughboy. We added Doughboy and we added a production manager in addition to the tour manager. And yeah. it was just too oh, And man. we were carrying more merch because we had bigger shows uh -oh. and it was just too much. Oh, yeah, the merch. All the right. Merch. Uh, somebody asked me of all the comedians Kev would have brought on tour, what made you bring to here and Tony? Tony, because Tony is the best comedian ever in the world currently doing stand up comedy. And I wanted people to have the best show. In retrospect, I could have made my job a little easier <laughs> and got a comedian that wasn't as funny. But for me, I think about the show from the audience's point of view. I want the audience to be like, man, that was just, whew. A great I, experience. I, just, I couldn't stop, <laughs> Pete. Like I want, and also, it makes your job harder to follow Tony, but also makes your job easier because when the crowds are rough, Tony got to take them before I do. Mm -hmm. And to hear was just the best host I ever knew. And Doughboy just, oh, man, what a good friend. Hey, man. <laughs> No, nah, Doughboy is just my friend, and I just want him to come. Hey, man. Uh, next thing. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, well, speaking about. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where this chance is speaking about. about. Speaking about trying to improve your sex life and, and the such. <laughs> we weren't even. <laughs> <laughs> he was nowhere near that. Speaking about my best friend and wanting to improve your sex That's life. That's why I made it weird. <laughs> Let's talk about Blue Chew, okay? 
Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. That's blue like the color blue. Okay? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable gummy with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, so you know they work. Cialis. You feel me. You feel You feel Cialis. Cialis. You know what I'm saying? So they're made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. Blue Chew is prescribed online and ships straight to your door in a discreet package, so no in-person doctor visits, no waiting in a pharmacy, and best of all, no more awkwardness, okay? Now, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm out here in these streets. I'm moving around. I be needing that little extra oomph sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to wait till marriage, but sometimes it gets tough out here and it gets real. So when I do, I blew too. Now, <laughs> this isn't just for guys who can't perform. It's for any guy who wants extra function to enhance their performance. If you're a one-and-done type of person, Blue Chew can even help your follow-through for round two. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Now, right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit bluechew.com. That's blue like the color, chew.com, to get your first shipment free when you use our special promo called RR. RR. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B L U E C H E W dot com. Promo code R R R R to try free. Blue True is the better, cheaper, faster choice. Thank you, Blue True, for sponsoring Righteous and Wretched. It is. Thank you, guys. All right, yes. starting with Tone, what was one of the best slash fun or funniest moments on the tour? Ooh. Oh, man. The best, <laughs> funniest. The, the, what, the funniest moment to us, it was a random night. We was in Sacramento, <laughs> and we walked to a 7-Eleven. Oh, it was me, man. It was me, Jason, Doe, Josh, and Kev. And Tahir yeah. was Tahir was doing Tahir his own thing. He was doing one to you know right. what I'm saying? And he missed out. And he missed out. So we in this 7-Eleven, and you know, the hotel is nice, but it's in a part of town with a lot of homeless people. It's a lot going on. And so we go into 7-Eleven. It's packed. You got the college kids. Everybody in there is drunk. You got homeless people in there. So this is one of those 7-Elevens where they got security. So you know what type of environment you in. The old boy in there getting stuff he don't need to get at that time of night. Let me get the whole pizza and a hot dog. And, yeah, let me get the whole box. A 7-Eleven really pizza, pizza, pizza is never it's a good choice. It's Desperate Measures Pizza. They make it in 90 alone. seconds. It's Desperate Measures Pizza. I he in there, Desperate Measures. I'm getting bananas and water and probably peanuts and you know what I'm saying. So we in there. Let it's sleep. chaos in the streets. So the bananas are dying. They're like, please get us out of here. <laughs> so we in there. It's chaos. The security guard is like, all right, what y'all doing? And then people are arguing about a sandwich when we on our way in. I didn't take the sandwich. You had the sandwich. So it was like, it was already chaos. So when we the come. The ham and cheese bandit. Man. So we in there. This dude busts up in the 7-Eleven. Like, ah. This homeless And fiend, then the bro. security goes, no, you can't hold out of here. They have it tonight. He was like, ah. He respected the call out. Like, ah. He was still crazy, but he wasn't that crazy. And he went right back out. Promptly. <laughs> so that moment funny. was so funny. He looked nice like you again. He's Man. like, <laughs> <laughs> The dude had just had it. Like, yeah, we like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you get on out of Scott, you. It was the way he left with the same crazy energy that he Man. came in with. Like, yeah. It was like he acknowledged, like, nah, He turned around like I he know, was offended. <laughs> he came in, y'all gotta understand, he came in on 10. Somebody that wasn't used to him might have been like, oh my God. And you can tell that wasn't the first time he no. had told <laughs> He busted up in there. No. <laughs> So hold on, hold on. The end of that story is we're leaving and another homeless person asks, <laughs> asks Double oh, for a yeah. slice of pizza. He's like, a whole pizza. He's like, whole yeah, box. I have a slice of pizza. He's like, oh, here's 20 bucks. I can't. You <laughs> 20. Can't buy way to get pizza. The pizza is about <laughs> I'd rather give you my social security number. Please. Here's my routing number. Here's my Apple Pay information. I just just the it was a large pizza. 7-Eleven large yeah. pizza was six ninety nine, and he gave him a dub. Here's, here's twenty you bucks. Don't get this uh, 20 get the last thing I do is go in the box. And no, make it I just didn't want to like open it up and like it's like a shareable thing. It's like weird. Like here, go get you some stuff. It is man. a shareable thing. It is. Very so much you could have handed him a slice. I mean, I don't know, man. I just I didn't want to like. Feel like I could just grab his piece and then hand it to him. I didn't want him grabbing into the pizza. No, you don't have him like, grab in. You give it to him. How? I can't make no. But maybe. But what if he would have got mad that I touched his pizza? 
Well then, hey, you think it's worth it? He just ate a sandwich off the ground, <laughs> open face. You think he's worried about someone touching oh. a slice of pizza at, oh. on the handoff? I got my favorite one. Let me tell you. So this was a moment where I realized our lives were changing, and this one just happened on one of the last shows that we did. We was it was and this is the same show that uh, you brought JoJo on stage. This funniest moment? Yeah, funniest moment okay. to me. What? Well, no, was this a tender funny. moment or a funny moment? It was just my favorite moment of the right. I always want to tell my story. Anyway, so just Kev was getting ready. Life. There was like, you know, Kev was getting ready to go on stage and Tahir was out there getting ready to bring him up and he's just sitting there talking to us. Like, I'm not knowing how close it is to him going uh -huh. on stage and he's just sitting there in front of the door. He's like, don't you stupid. He was just, and like, I, he like did some stupid dance or something and I, I'm still not recognizing how close it is. He's just talking like whatever and he's just like, Kev on stage and he was just like, and he just pushed off and then the door just opened behind him and he just went out there like, what's up? I was just like, bro, this is really what we do. Man. Was that London? Yeah. yeah. London. yeah. And I was like, he was just talking to me so regular and then he was just like, boom. Ooh. I was just like, bruh. This is really what we get paid London to do. London this year was probably my this favorite show of both times. We're going to get there. Yeah. Hold that thought, Josh. London was great. The, nothing's funnier to me than the homeless thing. Right. To hear if you have something different. Uh, I don't know. Can I give them Aqua Blue? Aqua Blue. Oh, no, Aqua no, Blue. No, no, that's you for can't. the family. You cannot. That's okay. for the family, oh, man. That's the first thing I thought of after the whole no, thing. I was man. like, nah, nah. Okay. Aqua Blue. Okay. Um. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's a, that's a moment from last year's tour, though. I'll never forget. We were in Boston oh. trying to do, to hear was doing the Simon Says thing, and he's super good at it, oh, and nobody can go yes. 10 seconds trying to beat him. And Zay Zay, man, he <laughs> that had was my Zay second Zay. one, but I thought I couldn't do last, last year. Well, we yeah. didn't do this last year, so okay. All right. But anyway, to hear got Zay Zay, he was like, you know, Simon says or to hear says come, to hear says stop. So he said to hear says stop, and Zay Zay was just still walking. Yeah, he kept <laughs> doing like Zay Zay, you're out. He's like, nah, man, you just kind of had to be there, man. We were, we were probably it was like two a.m. It, it was it was like late. two a.m. They were lobby. mad at us in the lobby. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're like, making too much noise. We got kicked out. Let's all go to man. Shut up, go to the room. Uh, so oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Oh, My on. favorite part on the tour was when, uh, what's his name? A.D. White Art. This oh, is the funniest moment. Funniest moment. Funniest moment. I think favorite parts coming you up. Know, too. I, I mean, did favorite parts. To be part. honest, to be honest, I'm Andy not really tripping. You can tell Aqua Blue. I'm not tripping. No, 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 no. It's family. It's okay. No, I'm, I'm okay. Who's I'm no, I don't think, I don't think it's that. Piece. It's funny. I don't think it's like. All right. All right. Ah, please. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin was like, before I can tell you my mind. Yes. <laughs> okay. Fine, now the world uh, I can tell the truth about what really happened. Go ahead. So we were. What was it? Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville. In Florida, the day uh, of Game of Thrones final episode, <laughs> or one of final episodes. The gang is getting out of the car, and they're all laughing, having a good time. And <laughs> Kev, you tell it because I, okay. I I got called in on the second part. So Doughboy and my yes. brother are walking to the green room. Okay, Doughboy's walking with my brother. He's like, man, this, something in my pants feels weird, right? <laughs> So we're out hearing this story secondhand. Man, some of my hands feels weird, man. What is this? So he reaches underneath his pant leg, pulls through, pulls out aqua blue drop. Dirty. 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 Dirty he was underwear still wearing his. From himself. Okay. So my brother comes in the green room like, yo, y'all got it. <laughs> Don't wear her dirty drawers in his pants. Okay. So Dilbert's like, no, nah, y'all gotta understand. We're like, no. <laughs> no, so no, no, hold on. <laughs> so the funniest part of the story is Tony Baker said, man, how does that happen? <laughs> Are you taking your pants off and your drawers and you're wiping that? The thumbs Are too. you doing the thumbs with all the way to your skin <laughs> on the pull down and just stepping up? <laughs> do you not take your drawers and put them in the dirty clothes? So then we're like, no, what, what do you have a laundry bag that you carry in your suitcase? He was like, no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> So then we're like, so do you get the hotel laundry bag? He was like, no. Hotel hotel laundry bag. Bag. So I'm like, hold on. They what do you do with your dirty clothes? He's like, I just put them in. <laughs> okay, listen. How do you know what drawers are in your arms? You like, just have that. Okay, listen. I'm, I'm, those were you. <laughs> listen. These are the I worked out in those. <laughs> Listen. And this is when he was working out heavy, too. Listen. Oh, he's sweating. Listen to me. Those draws were soiled. <laughs> listen. Ah. I, listen. I'm mad enough to admit. When I first started the tour, I didn't know about laundry bags. You know about laundry? Oh, 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 you know about laundry? O
So what I would do, listen. So what I would do, listen. What I would do, I would just have a section. Like, okay, here's the drawers. Like, when we take them off, we leave them here. That's just their section. Hold on. That draws. Hold on. Because you didn't have a separator in your suitcase that that section would stay there. No, but I just would know. I'd be like, this is where drawers go. Like, you just be not. their own little so room. Well, you listen back to me. Okay, okay. So. What had happened was when we were on the tour, I had brought a couple of pair of pants and I was going to wear a different pair. Now, when I took these pants off, I was like, all right, I'm not going to, because it was like a Sunday show. I'm like, I ain't going to wear these pants again, whatever. So the drawers just stayed in there. I didn't need to put them in draw section, the VIP of my suitcase. So I was just like, whatever, I'm not going to wear these pants again. It's cool. They can just be there when I get home. I'll wash it off. When I changed my mind, I'm like, no, I'm going to wear those pants. I forgot I had left them in. When I stepped in them, I had clean drawers on. You didn't feel the so ball. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I didn't feel it. You so how much room I, is in your pants? Where a hole is? I don't know. I didn't. Drawers is like that. Small drawers. I didn't think they just slid to the side or something. That's never happened to you. No. Here's, no. here's the confusion. All right. So you take them off whole wholesale. <laughs> so you take them all off at once. You step out. So that means the drawers are still intact with the pants. Yes. <laughs> so. <clears throat> When you step back in them, they should have been both on one leg. I on know. Top I think of that's your what I think draws. happened. I think. But that, how did they get on one side? They get on side. one side. I, that's that's where the the flux. I think I folded them. And then I think maybe when I folded them, I was just like, Nah. I feel like they got stuck on one leg, and as you just finished mm. off that last one, it just tucked on one of the legs. I don't know. It was just like a. But, I, the, but the draws on his thigh. They were like right? on my thigh. Like they were <laughs> up high. You but, don't no, reach they came in out when you the, take your pants off when he was walking. In and grab your they draws. And, and, when he was were, I was rushing. I was trying to get to this. It's my first no door. Rush. It's my first door. No rush that but robs you of time. But you've been here forty years. Everybody has gotten their drawers stuck in their pants on their first tour. I want to add something though. I want to add something though. When the draws fell out, he's like, oh, I got to put these back in the car. And he just threw them back. He threw the dirty drawers. It was hot and humid no. in Florida. No, I actually threw, threw those them away. I threw them humid. away. Yeah, I threw, not, I threw I, them. not the first no, time. No, I threw them in the swamp. I threw them in the swamp. first, then he threw them away. I put them in the swamp. He threw them in the swamp, so it was a bird in the swamp. Like, what the hell? I threw them in the swamp. I threw them in the swamp. They're about with his wings? Oh, he was like, what the hell? There was an alligator that was like, oh, hold on. Nah, hey, fam. The crocodile rose up. Right, and I was like, draws on his head, and he was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I was praying six hours for this. Man, the ecosystem had a ball with them draws. So now, so now, now y'all at home? Because I'm not ashamed of my truth. I can live in it. I wanted y'all to know it's a normal thing that happens when you it's go on really tour. Nice. Now, no, boy, really if nice. my if my child, if my 11 year old or 13 year old son had draws in his pants, I would be like, "Son, no. what?" Are you doing? Why are your dirty drawers in my? No, I didn't know. I put them off and I take them off wholesale. I didn't know. I thought I was going. I, there's no excuse for a child. It's never really happened. No to, like, it's never nothing like that's ever happened to no one. No, I take my drawers off separately. First of all, I, I do normally too, in but a separate compartment. I have since the learned. Now I be having the bag and now I'm all in, baby. You gotta I'm take your panties off separately, man. <laughs> you can never be that much in a rush. Shut up. All right. Speaking of needing to learn the skills of life, mm -hmm. Skillshare <laughs> is the perfect thing for you. And this episode is brought to you by Skillshare. And if you're not familiar with Skillshare, listen, it's like you want to learn how to become a creative writer, right? And you don't know how. You don't have a whole bunch of money. You don't have. You can't go back to college for creative writing. Mm -hmm. You hook up Skillshare, and they have professionals in that field who have created curriculum, video curriculums for you to be able to learn a new skill just like that online. And it's amazing. I was actually looking at Roxanne Gay, who's an amazing writer that I follow on Twitter. You related has, to Marvin? Uh, no, yeah. there's only one, there's no E in her name. Okay. Uh, but she has an amazing creative writing uh, uh, lesson on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes covering dozens of creative entrepreneurial skills. You can take classes in everything from photography and creative writing to design, productivity, and more. And, <clears throat> I just want to make a note real quick. As creatives, 
in this world, digital media and otherwise, you should always be learning. Yeah. How am I going to get better? How am I going to be uh, more professional? Mm-hmm. I learned the graphic design a little bit because it was just too expensive to pay people to make flyers. So like, you know, a little flyer for the one-off city. Yeah. You know, right. I don't have time for that. So you can go on Skillshare and learn how to do some graphic design. So right now, you should join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for my listeners. Get two months of Skillshare for free. That's right. Skillshare is offering Righteous and Ratchet <laughs> listeners two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. To sign up, go to Skillshare.com com slash rr rr again wow. skillshare.com slash rr to start your two months now that's skillshare.com slash rr see draws gate has doughboy so nah, i'm gonna tell you what it is draws i'm putting gate. them on blast as y'all put me on blast last show i took pictures of doughboy while he's literally on instagram right now now he was on twitter just now but you were on instagram the first time you mm. thought i was gonna let you slide mm. after you front of me on oh, platform yeah. this is you missed your rr when you mm. tried to front josh out in barcelona well, about are we just gonna sit here and act like nah, i do don't this you all do the that. time don't you do that it don't was you a simple mistake. Nah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now. To hear what that is. That was, like, that was Petty McKe- Crocker. You're spitting on me. <laughs> Matthew McKinnon. <laughs> I have big gums. What was your least favorite show of the tour? Oh. oh or what would you oh. consider the worst oh. city? Oh. 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 What would you consider the worst city? (laughs) You don't have a lisp. You had on this tour. Y'all are mad funny. Keep being king. Let's kick it off with Tony Baker. The worst city? Uh, Worst city or show or both? Well, the worst show for me last tour, what did we put at the bottom? It was like Little Rock was down there Mm -hmm. and uh, Birmingham. Mm. I think Birmingham was my least favorite show. Um, Little Rock was my least favorite venue. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. As far as cities, you know, it's just cities are cities. Yeah, I go cities. by show too. Go yeah. ahead, though. To be honest, I didn't really have a a worst city. This was my first tour, so I was really happy to be. I ranked every so I city really, on the tour. Some were better than others, but there was none where I was just like, oh, like there was. Yeah, it was for all cool. me, like, I'll I'll say the worst. Sh- Birmingham, I just didn't know if they wanted to be there. Yeah, I just felt like. But the worst day was when we had to go to Edmonton, Canada. And we missed our flight. Oh, oh, oh we, we, yeah. We, we flew oh, uh, WestJet, I think. Now, we made our flight on time. <clears throat> like, we were in Seattle. I think we are leaving out of Seattle. We made our time. Or our flight was 30 minutes delayed. It was Delta to, delayed. to WestJet. There was yeah. no way we could have made that. Oh, you're right. We're right. We got to get off on Delta and go on WestJet. We, we transfer in Vancouver. You have to clear customs again. This took an hour your, and a pick half. Pick up your luggage too. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. 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 Clear pick up luggage and get your luggage. Then recheck back into a new mm. airline Oof. and then go through customs again. And we missed our flight. The next flight was sold out, so we finally land in Edmonton on the flight later and have to go straight to the straight club. from the airport to the show. The audience is already there. To here had to go basically straight into his set. And some, he went, maybe he had to go buy some shoes. He bought some had, shoes. Yeah, because he didn't have a chance to go to we the hotel. He came through the crowd with luggage. Right. Oh, came through Man. the crowd with luggage. But the audience was there to have a great time. Was, so yeah. a good time. Up until that point, it was like the worst day ever. But the audience made it a great day. Yeah. Uh, that, was a, that was a fun show, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Little Rock was... was terrible Birmingham England y'all gotta go to London next time Birmingham England was my least favorite show mm. yeah. and the Tim Hortons at yeah no. in Canada was trash <laughs> alright so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with Tony what, what Tony said and then I'm just gonna add the first night of our second New York run that crowd oh, was just oh man it was warm booty cheeks it was <laughs> <laughs> Daytime strip club dances. It was just the worst. Man. It was. I didn't think they was that bad though. Shut up, Tony. No, it was tough. They were. They were not good. They were just. They were just there. It was like they were just there because somebody told them it was some free seats. Free seats. He was seats. I said seats. You still on your phone, dude? He's on Twitter. What is on Twitter? Nothing. Just tell the Yo, class. You, you want to be here? Tell the class what is so important on What's Twitter. What's happening? Bro? Let us know. What's going on? The podcast. I am looking at the next question for the podcast. You were just on Twitter. So what were you searching for? What's Nothing. important to you, bro? Nothing. How to, were you searching a hashtag how not to have draws in your pants? Because I'd love to know why you need to be on Twitter. I'm sorry. I won't be on my phone again. I apologize. What is it? It's Nothing. Probably firing some DMs, DMs off. Ooh, I wouldn't do that during the middle of the. Win. It's our podcast, man. I'm, well, I mean, you make money off of this, right? It's just people to respect. 
How has traveling slash touring affected you all physically? <laughs> let's start with Tahir on this one. I'll, I'll go. No, let's start with somebody who's been paying attention the whole episode. Um, this this, year, this year, thankfully, <laughs> I started wanting to get in shape a little before, and then Doe and me and Kevin and Gaze in the bed, that kind of helped keep me on track. So this year, it has been easy. Last year, it was hard, though, because... Anytime you're on tour, a lot of times we get into cities either super late or super early, and a lot of good options aren't er, aren't open. So this year was a lot easier for me, though. I feel like the thing about touring that is hard is it is like perpetually being on vacation, mm. and after a while, just like it, it takes the fun out of travel and food. It's, like I like eating out and Postmates as much as the next guy, but like eating out for eleven days straight, yeah. like man, sometimes I just want a bowl of cereal, man, mm-hmm. or my wife to cook, or me to be able to cook a little sandwich that, or a little new something, a PB and J. Just like you know, I, sandwich wasn't what, what I meant. <laughs> make a little sandwich, cook a little, just spaghetti. It ain't even like extravagant <laughs> things. <laughs> just, just salmon. All right, though. Um, I think the biggest thing, the toughest thing for me has been my sleep. Um, my sleep is still, I always struggled with sleep anyway, but I think being on different time coast, like all the di- all the time and then still trying to ca- like catch up. Yeah, a lot of time coast. coast. What's it, what is it? Time zone. Time, time, time zone. You know what I mean? It's time zone. Time <laughs> coast. Um, you know, Chicago. Time, time coast. coast. So I've been off tour now for like two weeks and I feel like I'm just now starting to yeah. tape around yeah. and be regular again. Not having a routine. Right. I, I got an email from Delta. I put this on my Instagram stories. I was in the top 2% of all LA travelers this top year. 2%? Just from Delta. Just from Delta. Just that Delta. doesn't count the times we flew Southwest, International. That's American. just the Delta or American. That's just What's the Delta. What's reward miles looking like? I know. It's crazy. Man, it's out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't going to lie. We going to Tokyo first class. For free, what? right? For free. Just on the map. That's a lot of points. On the map. And not just you and a wife, but the whole fam, and right? Boys, too. And Woo. Josh Gunn. He is premium captain. I mean, I love Woo. him. I would like your boy. Nah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do all our adventures. 16 hours. All in our adventures, Tokyo. And also, that's another thing. <laughs> Them, them flight. I like traveling overseas, but them 12 hour flights, when you can't sleep, because I can't sleep on planes that well. That is a tough gig. I, you know what I noticed too? I be I'm a lot more tense, like with a lot more knots, like because I be getting massages now, like and you know you can feel it. Like mm-hmm. I think, but being on them planes all the time, I was like mm-hmm. enough. I think I've had a lot all right, Tony me. Baker's. That's my thing too, man. The lack of sleep because I can't sleep on flights anymore, right? And so I just be tired. You know, dizzy spells. Those subsided early on, but like man, I was like Tony. I don't I'm know tired. if I believe that because Sabrina says you don't be sleeping at home either. Mm-hmm. I be sleeping at home. Just. I mean, it takes a She be up too, though. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Just passing the blame. I look, the blame. I look over at her, she looking at me. Like, <laughs> what up? She got to be up to know I don't sleep. But, like, uh, yeah, that, just that lack of sleep. And I, I, I don't like having to eat out all the time or find oh, out where I'm eating. That's tough. The whole food situation, it was just crazy. And that was a good, for a minute there, we were finding whole foods. In yeah. like every, it was like a month or mm-hmm. two. We were they, some of these Whole Foods ain't cutting the mustard, man. man. And that's why Yo, we still so like equally Some young. were fire and some were trash. Trash. We it had depends. like a month or two. It was great, and yes. then it was like oh, Bro. Bro. Whole yeah. Foods is super inconsistent. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Very, very. Yes. Every, every Whole Foods is not the same. Even and the smoothies. Oh, 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 we had to bring our own uh, Detroit almond milk. We had to buy. I had to buy the almond milk for them to use it in the smoothie. What? Yeah. They didn't. Oh, you bought. Almond milk from Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, this was in Detroit. They didn't have almond milk. Yeah, they made no, they, no, they had it there in the store. They just didn't have it where they make the smoothies. At. They made you buy it. I had They're to like, buy man, it. Go to LA, get, get some, and we gonna hook you up. Oh, that's like, crazy. Man, get some is, fruit too, playboy. That's boy. crazy. But the smoothies were good. Oh, they were good though. Yes. I, I'm not mad at those. All right, this one is. I'm actually curious to see what what y'all think because I don't think, but I don't know. Uh, it's from Latanya Blake. Does everyone still operate as a family, or is Kevin morphed into the boss? Hmm. Mm. That's interesting. I, I have my own thoughts, but I'll share them after you guys because I don't want to infiltrate your thoughts. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's definitely uh, morph into a family. I don't ever feel like Kev's my boss, and Kev hired me at all def, and he's always been my boss. Um, but he don't. It don't feel like that though. I mean, at different times, like you know, when it gets like for real, it'd be like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna have to fire you." It's like I get it, but <laughs> that was um, at all def. That was def. on the tour. But no, like now, like it's just like I feel like I'm just working with my homeboy. Like it's just like it's I don't I don't feel that he's the boss type. I, that's not how I feel with it. So 
No. Tony to here. I I don't, I've never felt that at all. Like I, if anything, I felt it from like a coach perspective more so than the boss perspective. Coach K. It's like working for like an employee. It's like working for an employer that fully takes care of their employees. Yeah. Where, you know, you just like man. You know, it, I feel like I don't even have a you know a boss. So I never got that boss vibe. You know, mm-hmm. I know he had to flex the muscle on occasion on other people, not mm-hmm. me. So I always felt like it always felt like, for me it always felt like more of a like a partnership but we gonna bring you on the tour, you know, so it never felt like that. Don't you mess this up all. for me, it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I think I'm just at a point in my life where I realized. <laughs> 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 I'm just at a point in my life where. <laughs> now, I, it, it still feels very much like a family. I, I really consider them family. And Kev just feels like. I feel like every family has that one person they kind of look toward to kind of make certain decisions and stuff. And it just feels like Kev is that person that makes a lot of the decisions for. Uh, for the family and I'm I'm cool with it I mean I trust him I trust his judgment so it still feels very family like I feel like I try to let the tour manager do, do their job right? yeah, yeah I want to I feel like we all had a chance to weigh in mm-hmm. um, and that's why I was so mad at you and Josh for not suggesting that we leave earlier on the on the Spain trip because I'm like bro y'all know I value your opinion man that's because to hear don't there. talk in the group to chat don't. To he don't. don't he always had a side talk conversation yeah. group chat he don't we be having a blast. I brought that up early. Yeah. He was probably All like, Josh, man, there. we need to leave early. He was just telling Josh that face to face. Yeah, then we, we ended up standing in, in line and and we for an up. hour and a half. And By the way, that three hour oh, that that arrive hard. to the airport. That was hard. Man. Do it. Three Internationally. And International. Three and a half. Four. If you don't have first class, I recommend three and a half. We stood in line in Spain, and it was an hour and a half in just the first, in the line. first, line. first line. Then another 15 in security, customs. and then another 25 in customs. And no yeah. AC. And no AC. Oh, it was so hot. I fully yeah. recommend. And also, don't go get food until you have seen your gate. Because in uh, Spain, we yes. were getting food, and Doughboy, luckily, his food came first. And he was like, hey, yo, there's more another whole customs line we're like again it was like double customs <laughs> I had just asked you I was like yeah. another customs you were like no boy no I was like alright because we were on the gate <laughs> right. side and, and lo and behold so uh, do that okay right. here's an interesting question from Robin Baldwin why is Tony so uncomfortable with the standing ovations oh oh uh, I don't know it's like I don't like I mean of course I'm an entertainer so I do like some sort of attention but it's like if it's if it's like too much I'd be like, ah. you know, if it's a standing ovation, I can get off the stage right on time. I'm cool. I appreciate it. I'm like, great, standing ovation feels fantastic. But then when I got to stay up there and take it, and to here won't take my mic, and then I just got to like sit. Like somebody happy birthday to you. Yeah, for a long it's like time. it's like people complimenting me while I'm sitting right there. I'd be mad, uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It, the Cavs are hates it too. <laughs> I you love do standing ovation. No, you but don't. no, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, like, when we compliment yeah. you and stuff, you oh, be like, ah, we like enough. I want to be. So pretty much a standing o is is like that. And I, I never know what to do while I'm getting it. I can't be like, oh guys, oh that's crazy. Oh thank you. <laughs> oh you know so. But I uh, love getting them though. So Mike says, uh, did you ever have any days where you feel like I love my job, but I don't feel like doing it today? Yes, mm. there's a couple times. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't feel well. I can say for myself. Sometimes I just didn't feel funny. I was like, "Why well, am I even going up here? I ain't funny like that." Mine was more so <laughs> the travel. The travel is really just taxing. I'm like, oh, we got to fly out tonight. That the actual shows though, I was usually like, "All right, let's do this." But man, the because because Cam was doing the heavy lifting, he had to do the 45. I don't to this you day. Know, I don't know how he did that. The feature spot is prime real estate. <laughs> 25 <laughs> minutes. Is perfection oh, in comedy. It's the but best. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> Even when I don't feel like doing it, I'm like, man, it's just the feature spot. Kev yeah. got to do the, you know. Wait, but Kev had like the impossible task of being at the beginning of the show with the love hour yes. with his wife the and being duty? the comic and the, the funny relief for man. out for 90 minutes. Yeah. That's 90 minutes of talking and having some sense of humor there. Right. And then going the whole show goes and then you be getting standing O's from the from the feature spot sometimes to here we get standing O's from the whole spot and then he gotta come and do 45 after all that that's it's a lot that's a lot real it's a lot uh, I, I feel like I totally agree with Tone like I, look, Brett Farr said that the reason he retired from the NFL is because you can't just play the game mm. you have to travel you have meetings you have injuries you have ice 
press conferences, all the other stuff is the thing you get tired of. The the actual art of doing stand up. Once you get on the stage, oh, yeah. like everything else is gone. Mm -hmm. But man, being hungry, just sometimes mm -hmm. the food doesn't get there before, mm. or you the bought small food that things. Was, oh, when, Kev, when Kev is hungry, he's oh. trash. Oh, oh, trash man. McGee. He is trash. There are so many pictures org. floating on the internet with Kev smiling like this. He'll man. swing on a newborn. I've seen it. He is man. trash. Dot org. When he is hungry, man. <laughs> He is Remember, useless. Me is useless out here. Uh, like, where is the food? It's true. I have nothing. I I, I, I cannot even argue that. And it'd be tough sometimes when you get to a certain city and the hotels don't be ready. Uh, Remember New Orleans? Oh, I man. had fun in New Orleans. Oh, Remember we got there? We, we couldn't get in the hotel till like three? Yeah, yeah, we watched Us. Us. I had a good time in New Orleans. I did too. I, I had a blast in New Orleans. I'm not Let me home. tell you what. I kind of like it when the hotels ain't ready because we hang out. But I be tired because we ain't sleep on the plane. Because everybody goes I, a little I, separate ways. I'm going to go nap and then this and that. But like when we're <laughs> we forced to, sleep. to find something to do, I'm Tony, all in. Tony, you dipped too in New York. No, we Tony. barely saw you. Uh, that's only because Sabrina was there. Tony has a crush on New York though. Mm. And plus, that's Sabrina one knows city. where to take me, so mm. it's like you know. But so all that's I hear unusual is for Tone. Nah, all I hear Everybody is excuses. Everybody went the whole way in New York. Josh did his own thing, and I went to sleep. Yeah, it'd be funny. Like, Josh would be like, "I'm yeah. going to bed, guys." Then you see him at some club in London with his friend. Like, how oh, you got friends in London? I was Toronto. Josh was be Toronto. having friends, man. He had friends in Queens. He was like, "Yeah, I'm out here in front <laughs> of nine. Hey, Josh was it. different in Toronto, guys. I'm gonna just tell you right oh, yeah, now. I seen the video. He was, was a, a good time. different I seen breed. The video. Dancing, just chicks all oh, around. It was a good time, man. <laughs> double bottled. Up. I'm not even rare breed in Double bottled. Double bottled. Double bottled up. I wasn't dancing with both the bottles. I had, I had handed one off. You might have caught me mid handoff when I had right. both in the hand. <laughs> Josh, you know what? I was there, remember? I do. I was there. <laughs> All right, here's a couple more interesting ones that I'm going to let y'all go and live y'all lives. After doing two years of touring in a row, would you say y'all are closer to me for, or are you in a state of I need a break from y'all? Mm. I'm absolutely closer to y'all. I'm absolutely closer to y'all. Absolutely. Closer. Like, and it really, like, it was like a dope example last night, too. Actually, I want to stop and give all of everybody on the Real Comedians of Social Media uh, a sincere, humble thank you because I feel like y'all pushed me out of my comfort zone as far as stand up. And what I mean by that is, so I did stand up last night, and what I was doing the whole set, I was doing a very safe set. We talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Like, I was just telling jokes, and you guys basically were like, though, you guys start talking about real life. That's where you're your good stuff is gonna come from. So yesterday I did Tony's show over at Flappers and uh, Tahir was there. Like he just pulled up just to mm. watch and then like he watched my set and then just came over like gave me some really, really good feedback. Like that's just type of camaraderie. Like even when I talk to you yesterday, you're like, yo, see me a set, I wanna see it. Like, yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's a brotherhood. I feel like I'm definitely closer to y'all even though I get on everybody's nerves. Uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> uh, I agree wholeheartedly. When we first moved to LA, I didn't have no friends. I'd just be like, oh man, no friends. Mm -hmm. But now I have people to invite over to a barbecue on Labor Day. And that was the one that part that was missing. Cause in Washington, I had, I had good barbecues. We had great times. Was Bishop making the? Uh, nah, he wasn't. He wasn't that. He, he didn't learn how to make barbecue until he moved. Who to making Texas the potato so. salad? That needs to be the real Bidis. question. No, no, we don't really be making potato salad. Melissa's kind of afraid to make stuff that your auntie's good at because she don't want. My be mom like, makes it fire. I might have her making it. Who making the cookout out. beans? To here, this is me. The, 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 beans. Beans. The, <laughs> the ones that you want will have meat in it, but I can make some without meat. Cause we got a pressure cooker and we got a uh, yeah. Make some make 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 mine the way it is, but then make some for Tone and Sabrina, man. Yeah. And we got to play that werewolf, man. Oh, we just, need you to just, host. Oh, werewolf is happening. Oh, and we got to play space for the first time too. Yep. Me and Kev versus y'all too. Are you good at space Tone? Mm -hmm. Are you uh, good? Yeah. Damn All right. Good. All right. Here's a good one. I think we might be able to end on this. Oh, two ones actually. This one first. Tony and Tahir. How do your significant others feel about tour life? Mm. How you feel, Sabrina? <laughs> I'm happy for you. Aww. But do you miss him? Do you be excited when he leaves? Like, I'm about to have the house to myself. I do. I, I like being alone. Yeah. Um, it, it's a good balance with him. My wife was like, man, when we did the Love Hour last week, she was like, oh, Kev's leaving tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but secretly, I was like, I'm going to have the room in New York tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had maximum toesies time. <laughs> toesies? Room service. I had room. I had AC Seinfeld. at 62. I had room. I was ordering rooms. I had like, uh, and you're by yourself. Nobody could judge your choices. No. Uh, uh, Tony doesn't know what I ordered. I had chow mein. I had lo mein. I had fried rice. I had egg roll. I had Seinfeld going. I was like, toesies, toesies. Oh, I love it. In the hotel, uh, man. Room service? You can turn the air conditioner on because uh, Melissa probably right there. I turn it so oh. cold. Being alone is dope. Oh, 
So I you think, just do whatever. Yeah. Me and Melissa were talking about this on the Love Hour. One of the drawbacks of working together mm. is you don't have that time right. mm. alone. Like we, like when I used to work at ADD and she worked at her job, like I'd see her in the morning and at night, like, oh, I miss you. How was your day? Now it's just be like, huh, you in the bathroom? <laughs> you <laughs> still here, huh? You know, so. <laughs> and now when, rest. when I did stand up, it's like, oh, I get to go. Mm. I'm on my own. I'm room service. Tozy's out. Yeah. And now I'd be in the room. She'd be like, I just turned it up a little bit. It's like 78. I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Oh, the temperature. I need maximum <laughs> Tozy's time out. <laughs> Uh, here's the last question. Can you each give what you think each other's comedic strengths are? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, start with Tony. You always jumping in the fray. Huh? Tony, don't boy always want to answer first. Oh, yo, you know when what I was on Wild like Out, it man. was important to me. I find myself in a strange predicament because I work for both platforms. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. I think I think Doughboy's comedic strength is he can he can make fun of himself and you know he he has no fil filter when it comes to himself. So I feel like that right there is a strong comedic mm. element. Even though he was playing it safe on tour with the oh. same set. He was halfback dive man. on down the field, <laughs> like, man. That city. Man, this city hey, has the most you, beautiful Tom. women. I'm going to tell you why that bothered us. Mm. It's because if that's the best of comedian you have, right. then fine. Right. Let it be. Right. But knowing you have the ability and potential mm. to be so much more funny and you're playing it safe, right. it's like, man, you, you out here. Safe McGee. <laughs> you're playing it safe and you have, you're funnier when we just... Uh, you have just talking. Just talking. Yeah, at least an hour of untapped gold. Yes. Untapped gold, and you don't even try it. Sorry, so Tom. we was just heated about that. So that's <laughs> his strong suit, being able to to be honest with himself yeah. about what he's going through and stuff like. Because he be he be into some wild stuff, Man. wild <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> moments that he's not scared to share. Yeah, <laughs> so if we can take that to the stage, the sky's the limit. He was Captain Marvel out there, man, man. fighting without her full potential. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so that that's his uh, strong suit. Cam's strong suit is just raw likability on the stage. Like comedians, there's a lot of comedians, they, oh, that's a great premise, that's a great, oh, the set is tailor made to fit, this, that, and the third, great points. But Kev is just raw funny. It's just like, when he's up there, you're having a good time with him, you like him, it doesn't feel like materials being said. Mm. It feels like he's just up there talking and just being himself, so you just like dying. And so that's his strong suit, is to be able to tell his stories and take you into his life, and it's just funny and organic. To hear, on the other hand, he his strength lies in his dark sense of humor. Oh, <laughs> like the, the villain's the, lair. The <laughs> to hear you seen on the tour is just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> of, of who to, to hear really is. So when you see the raw, uncut to hear, it's like a whole nother. Mm -hmm. so, but but he can he can do the clean like, hey, this is the clean me guys, but over here. <laughs> <laughs> The real, the real. Yeah, so like if you go see to here in a different environment, you're gonna get a totally new show. Yeah. So I'm yeah. jumping in and skipping you. Why? I want, I want to. You're gonna go next. Oh, okay. What's up, Zay? Tony's ability, I'm gonna go down the line as well. Okay. Tony has an ability to make you laugh at stuff. We're like, man, that is like relatable mm -hmm. but Look. funny. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times comedians who have relatable re relatable humor aren't funny. It's just like, oh man, that is true. Yeah. But he takes it from that is true to that is hilarious. And also, this is part two. Tony can make anything funny. Anything. Mm. Tony have a joke about cereal boxes. Mm. Chocolate milk. I mean, some of the stuff y'all <laughs> haven't even seen Tone do. Heavy balls. Heavy balls. <laughs> Tony, listen to enjoy that joke. Oh, Tony, heavy balls. She didn't have balls. She didn't have balls. I laughed for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> heavy balls is one of the great ones. His clown stuff from his, some of his older material. Tone makes you be like, as a comedian, it makes you be like, man, I don't, I don't, you wouldn't think that is funny. Tony can make. Uh, Tony here was telling me I haven't seen this joke yet. He had a, a joke about lamps, and I'm like, lamps, lamps. <laughs> How? Uh, Doughboy's um, self-deprecation is only matched by his. Doughboy just seems like you want to hang out with him. Mm. And when a comedian, there's a comedian in Washington, bless his heart, he had the best material in the world, but you just were like, I hate that guy. <laughs> like no matter what Doughboy's doing, even if he's getting on your nerves, he's so endearing, and you want to laugh at people who seem fun to mm. hang out with. Um, when he releases his new material, he'd be even better. Uh, <laughs> Tahir has an innate ability to 
bring to bring the room to the maximum level of start the show funny, which is what a host has. It's easy when the room is ready, like like uh, uh, where we go before Amsterdam, Detroit, mm -hmm. London. Those are easy; they're mm -hmm. ready to go. But the Pittsburghs are not Pittsburgh. Um, oh, Pittsburgh Bridgeport last year. Yeah. Oh, New York the first night. So here's like, okay, I'm not gonna bring you guys on stage until your job will be easier. And that is the hardest thing about being a host. Is like yeah. when the audience don't want to be there, they're in a bad mood. Like I think in New York, it just rained on everybody. Yeah. Right. There was oh, standing yeah. room. Like it was a lot of negative stuff. And he's like, so here's like, no, I'm on. I'll I'll take the punches until it's ready for the next comedian. Right. And yeah. that is. Whew, that's yeah, a this is an art to hosting a oh, show. Oh man, the host is often one of the funniest comedians on the thing. Right. Absolutely, because Most managing the energy yes. of the room. Because also, if it's rocking, the host is like, "Hey man, I'm just gonna keep it going, man. Yeah. Okay, come on the stage." But some hosts is like, "I I want to do my joke so bad that they'll ruin the <laughs> right. the energy of the room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they want to they want to get their jokes off." And that's that's literally the worst thing the host can do as man. a comedian. There's an, some shows I've done where it's like I'm next. And the comedian before me is rocked. Yeah. And the host gets oh. in there and brings the energy down. Come on. Oof. And it's like, get oh. off the stage. Oh. <laughs> Just, all the you gotta do is set. come to the stage. Yeah. The next person, let me get a little piece of the excitement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. All right, I'll go now. Tony Baker. <laughs> Tony Baker's strong point is I really just feel he doesn't have any weaknesses as a comedian. I feel like if if, if it was Madden, he'd be a 99 rated Overall. player. Like he's just, he doesn't have a weakness. Like he's creative. He can talk about just really just mundane things and yep. make them hilarious. He can talk about his personal life. I was watching him last night because really when he does Tony Baker and Friends, he literally is just oh, going up the there best. black. Naked. Like, and I, like, no I'm script. watching him build <laughs> material just in regular conversation. So I just feel like he's just, him and like Carlos Miller to me are like just the two mm, Carlos completest hilarious, man. comedians. Mm. It's just like, he completest. doesn't. I love Carlos. Most complete, like he's just, you know. So yeah, that's 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 his thing, and um and and he has the most. I think he's leading the league in catchphrases like oh, yeah. hemoglobin and skibbity pop, that skibbity pop, um, all pump. that. So yeah, preview pop, um, Kev. <laughs> oh yeah, preview pop, Kev. <laughs> I always I always try to tell people. If somebody told it to me, so I don't want to make it sound like I made it up. Um, but they said like when it comes to 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 comedy, there's only only two things that matter. The first one is ability. It's the most in, you know important to have the ability to do it. And the, the the only thing more important than the ability to do it is to have likability. And I feel like Kev is has down one of the most likable mm -hmm. people I've ever seen perform. And he tells stories like you can, he paints pic pictures so very vividly. It's like you can see them. Like I try to like, in, in, in my new steps to do my new material, I'd be like, man, I want to be able to still tell stories like Kev. Like, He's just, you know, super dope into that. So I like that. And he's clean, but he don't come off like a clean comedian. Right. Like some comedians it's are clean. Not and it's, clean. it's not corny yeah. clean. It's you just, know, the thing about loving your right. children is. Right. You right. Know, it's not. It's not. It's not. Right, guys. So he's just like, like, that's why if you see him on different platforms and he can survive there, like, you see him on Roast Me wherever. It's like the filthiest stuff, but he doesn't switch up for anybody. He's just right. always he consistently him. him. Consistent. And that's a, that's a power. Um, to hear just, I can easily call him the best host I've ever been around. Like this, It's just the skill to host, to know, to feel the pulse of the energy of the room. He gives the best um, introductions. He doesn't hawk sometimes, like he was saying, like hosts can just not know when to get off. Like he'll he don't do too much time in the middle. Like mm -hmm. he, he keeps greedy. the room rocking. Mm -hmm. So that's his strongest point. I also feel that the I feel like the real to hear still hasn't surfaced on stage oh, just no. yet. Oh, no. Like I want him to embrace the dark embrace side the of who dark he side. is. You, you're I feel halfway like, to Darth Vader. Yeah, I feel like just put the mask on. Like I want you to that. be killing yeah. people with the force. Exactly. <laughs> that was, if you own it, yeah. nobody can take it from you. That's and what to hear has a unique voice, not right. in terms of like comedian voice. And I mean, look. his Literally. actual voice. Right. The way yeah. he said Like you know it's to hear. Also, one more thing about Tony Enter here. Tony's facial expressions are so funny. Oh my God. That you, like, it, it does you a disservice if you can't. Like, I feel like Tony will suffer the most from being in a big arena because that intimate part, man, mm. Tony can sell his joke. Tony has the courage to do a joke with his back turned 
to you <laughs> because it's that funny. But when he turns around and gives you the facial expression, like I'd be laughing at Tony's jokes Still. like it is my first time. Yeah, yeah. Demetrius. Uh. On the merry-go-round, I'd be like, I'd be hearing him set it up. I'd be like, oh, he's coming, my favorite. Uh. <laughs> and he's not just saying that. We've been in the green room, and it was like, I like this joke. You like this joke? Oh, I like this man. Joke. <laughs> and, um, yeah, to hear is, if you be darker, he'd be the funniest. Uh, mm. I want you, to oh, that's what I was going to say. You have, and you haven't done this joke a lot in a while, but you have an ability to make people laugh at stuff they know they should not be laughing at. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, well, I mean, it's his fault because it's that funny. <laughs> All right, your mm -hmm. turn. And then we got to go because I see my food came. Uh, mm -hmm. Tony is, I think, so confident in his material that he can sell anything. Mm -hmm. um, he has a joke about lanterns. He has a joke of why dogs are better than cats. He has a joke of why bees are more intimidating or wasps are more intimidating than bees. These aren't typical jokes that a comic would make. And if you heard a comic make these jokes or you heard that this was a comics lineup, you would think that he might be performing for children or a younger group. But these are jokes that any age group can relate to and will die laughing mm -hmm. at. And just to have the imagination to be that creative is inspiring and awing all at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Doughboy is hands down one of the most talented people I've ever embraced or, or seen in my life. Embraced. And and. The thing that he just said about me, like we haven't seen every, the dark to hear. I feel like we haven't seen the real dough on stage. And one of the hardest mm -hmm. things for a comedian to do and master is take themselves on stage. We feel like when we turn into, when we go on stage, we want to transform into this comedian. Now I'm Doughboy the comedian. When Doughboy takes Doughboy on stage, you are going to see a shift in the game of comedy. Oh, I promise man. you. That. Nice, Dr. Thank you. Yeah. Kevin is one of the most. Uh, I'm just glad I'm on his team because he would be a, a formidable foe to anyone if mm. he chose that path. Mm. He can adjust to any crowd. He can do any crowd. Everyone loves him. He can work dirty <laughs> or clean. There was a point where I performed at Tony Baker's show, Tony Baker and Friends, and Kevin was there and he saw me and he was like, I, I, I was in, I'm not the best comic in the office. And this was prior to me seeing Kevin. And then Kevin did my show at the Union. And I was, because I, I took advantage of it. I made an uh, award and all that. Oh, I told him man. he was he second was, he best was comic in the office. I was, I was just messing with him, but I was eating it up. He <laughs> did my show and I saw it and I was just like, <clears throat> ah. <laughs> that's crazy yeah you know because kevin did it a different way most people go to hollywood and they they hang out in the show so you see them better that set strong he did a completely different way he mastered the set in uh seattle and then he built a following online and then he started getting private bookings and he was able to master that already tailored set more on set on on the road so when we got to la he has a killer set but no comic has really seen it right so when he, the first time last year on set on the tour when i saw the set i was like jesus when when did he build this <laughs> but he's so good at tailoring things and just out of normal conversation, turning that into a set. It's, it's, it's like watching a, a painter actually do something live. So it was, this is an amazing group of guys to tour with. So. And what I, mean, well, let me what I want to piggyback, piggyback on one thing. Tony already started, man. I want to piggyback. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, hold on, on, on that. On with Kev. I like seeing how comedians react to Kev when they see him. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. They be like, every time, yo. Kev is funny because no, right. nobody knows Atlanta? in the city. Remember right. Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, oh, Atlanta. 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 So there was a there was oh. a comedian and we always protect you know the the innocent. So there's a comedian that may have had an issue with my boy. So and it was in a city. I don't know. So um, shows up and we do the show and I, we, everybody knows that he has he feels some certain type of way about Kev. But he's sitting in the show and he's watching it. I'm sitting next to the dude because you know I just I'm watching the situation. Just seeing I'm checking his temperature. When I tell you he was trying to hold it in, he was just sitting there just like, it got to the point where we were just like, <laughs> like you can't he do gave it. it up. Like, and he was just laughing, like it really was super dope. But I wanted to piggyback on what he was saying about your ability to- You gonna break to them piggies back. <laughs> <laughs> the poor pig, am I right? <laughs> the pigs are dead. No. I, the one of the most impressive times, this wasn't even on a tour, this was just on a random time we was hanging out. One time, me and Kev, he took me to a show with him to do. He didn't know much about where we were going. And <sighs> we went to a show, and when we went there, now most comedians, they have their voice and their timing and their audience of who they speak to. We went to a show, and we found out upon arrival, he was performing in front of 300, was it Filipino? Korean. Korean, Korean Asian descent 
high school students, people he has nothing in common with. <laughs> no, but you got back up because we was riding together. And I was like, huh, this is a Korean <laughs> church. This is, this is weird. But no, and he had brought me out to like, film it. There's a lot of, yeah, Josh was there. It's like, there's a lot of Hondas. <laughs> <laughs> Unusual amount of spoilers. <laughs> Huh. This is a usual amount of spoilers? Yeah. <laughs> this is true though. Oh, this is very cars, Fast and the Furious. Right. And then I saw like maybe a couple Korean people. I was like, I ain't seen nobody else, but. And, and then we went inside. I was and like. And they're high school kids. And I'm like, so we're chopping it up. And I'm just like, you know, you never want to, you know, wish bad on your boy. But I'm just like, what you going to do though? Like, <laughs> he, no, he said he was going to record it. He was like. I was waiting for the bell. Either way. And he went out there and bodied it. So at that moment, I was just like, Kev is going to make it. Like Different that, lane, Just bro. being able to have that ability to do that and do it masterfully. You scramble in the pocket, oh, man. man, that right, was. But before we get out of here, because I know you want to go now. And I know you want to eat. I got one thing to say. Uh-oh. Okay, uh-oh. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Make it long. Microphone. Don't come okay, in here crying. I'm not gonna cry either. I just have one thing to say because uh, number one, what a great question, right? Yeah, yeah that was great. I thought amen, that was amen. a really great. Amen. Yeah, amen. I got it. I won't be long. Am I too loud, Joshua? Is she no. In frame? Yeah, yeah. You can see. No, no, you're fine. You can. Okay. See. Um, I just wanted to say number one, it was a great question, and it speaks to one of the things that I um wanted to say, and that is the best thing about this tour that doesn't happen quite often and it's sometimes it's more difficult to do with women yes and i ain't apologizing for it um is that it wasn't catty mm. and it wasn't competitive mm. when you can sit with four comedians that are excellent in their own right and come up one after another another and not feel threatened and not feel like there's backbiting, not feel like you're gonna take up too much shine, who feels like to hear go up there and rip because when you do it correctly, that's it. that allows me to do what I need to do. When it's Tony and he's up here getting sent an ovation that Kev is like, I'm finna record this for him. I want him to see and be able to capture this moment. Doughboy goes up there and everybody's encouraging him to um, be his full self, go out there, embrace your full story. They're all coming out there. Kev is killing it. He's doing great. Thank you so much. We're so appreciative mm. of you know this opportunity of allowing us to do that and it's a group of four black men mm. <laughs> Hey. That's us. We're black men. That's we the, are. The, y'all, the four black men. We're black. Listen, that is something that is it, it's unheard of, and to be a part of it and to witness it firsthand has just been like phenomenal. It has mm. truly, honestly, been just a phenomenal experience because you go into something and you don't know how personalities are going to interact with one another. You don't know how egos are going to act within it with one another, and the fact that you guys were able to do it not once but twice over 82 shows um we and we listen <laughs> it is more than just touring together Man. Man. we are vacationing together yeah. we're going to barcelona ain't no shows we just finna look at each other's face and figure out why you don't <laughs> like italian food and why they serve cheese over here mm. and do they have vegan options over here and today i don't feel like eating like that kind of thing is happening <laughs> and no one is angry and upset and going to blows Mm-hmm. Not once, but twice, that's two special. years. Mm-hmm. That's something that's special. That's something that's unique. That's something that's different. And that's something that was captured here. And um, I think that that none of you guys have said that, but from the outside looking in, that's definitely something that I saw and, and deserves to be um, spelled. Even Joshua is low key funny on the. Oh, oh, Josh oh, be blaming man. me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Josh be with it. Good, Chicken Josh pot pie is with it. You say this, guys. And you guys talk about villains. Joshua's a low key villain. I yes. just yes. tell this. Yes. Josh and Kev low keep. Kev really? is just as dark as me on yes. some level. Oh. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't go to sleep. Wake up. Oh, yeah. Sit up, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Face. Get up. Joshua be low key. He be villain it. Yeah. And then uh, the other last thing I wanted to say um, really, really quickly is that um, I am not a morning person at all. And so we would take these very early flights at before the uh, sun would get up, we would oh. be up. And we would go to the airport, sorry. Duh. And we would go to the airport and I would not be in a mood to be talking. And he always is in a mood to talk. And we would go to the airport and say, yes, I don't care what you say. Yeah, yeah you do be you talking. You are. Yeah. You be talking. And for no, whatever no, like, reason, no, but you be we talking. would be, not in a bad way, it's but like a in a terminal, so we would be at our gate. And before you know it, they've decided to roast each other. And the entire gate is cracking up. 
That was the <laughs> kicking each other's what? luggage. Where were we at? Toronto. One time we spilled the on the way to Toronto. We spilled the thing, man. We were we had a whole audience. a whole oh, yeah. audience, and yep. I just think, and that, I don't mean that as shade. I mean that like as a good way. You, it's hard to be in a bad mood with guys who are constantly finding the funny. Mm. that are constantly finding the good in something where literally we're up at the crack of dawn TSA is not there we're standing in line and instead of being irritated which is what I want to do uh, <laughs> they are literally roasting each other or <laughs> laughing at something yeah, or finding something and it's just good vibes and good energy and something that's so rare so uncommon and I just wanted to say that okay bye yeah. Yeah. well there's not much more to say the queen no. has spoken oh. God bless you thank y'all for tuning in uh Tony Baker Comedy. Yes, Tony Baker Comedy on all platforms. Okay. Uh, I am Doughboy. You know me, Kev on stage. To hear more, that's two O's, one R, one H, I, R, T. I made it too confusing. What? Just H and I. to hear more. Just stop. Oh, side note. Last thing. R, R, E. I gave up energy drinks. I saw you had a five hour energy out there. I gave up energy drinks. That's an energy drink. Oh. You, you, you mean you gave up the recreation? You know, I'm at a point in my life when I'm giving up stuff I didn't give up. Righteous and ratchet and righteous and ratchet. God knows I wanna be righteous, but at times I get a little ratchet. So if you're trying to find that fine line, dope boy and Kevin Stage gonna make it happen. Yep, we ain't never do no capping. Are we gonna talk about them back? Vice and factions, like us and back it. Righteous and ratchet. Hey, shout out to the right back. Hey, for you we bring it right back. Hey, yeah. Five dollar Patreon, yep. You can skip the wait line, yep. You ain't got the five, you ain't got the lie. Kevin call him Jesus on the main line. Life is hard, so go ahead and party hard. Get your weekly dose of R. Oh, hey.